perverted. You're going to use the word perverted. Yes. These grown ass pastors, Catholic pastors that are molesting 10 year olds, you're going to use that same word for gay men? They are practicing perversion because God created sex only but for a marriage relationship between a man Catholic and a woman. pastors that are perverting 12 year olds? That's evil. That's really are evil. You supporting them? I'm not supporting them. Are you? No, I'm not supporting them. Okay, but, but do you understand that there are there are many pastors across this country that are pedophiles? There's a lot of wicked pastors so out there. You, yeah. Have you ever protested? They're not real. They're not real pastors. A pedophile pastor? Um, no, I haven't. Okay. I have. I have done a lot of uh, ministry outside of church buildings because there's a lot of hypocrisy in the American church in the American churches. Okay. Yeah, and but you should stop thinking that homosexuality is okay. Like, why do you think that that's okay? Because this is where I come to. I, I am a straight female, and I love men, but I actually fucking hate men. I have had so many times I wish I could like women, but I can't. So that's why I see where gay males are coming from. That they cannot help who they love. Like, why do you think they would choose but, to have a more difficult so, life by exactly. liking other men? So, so we're all we're all conceived with a sin nature, and our sin nature has evil desires in it. By are you married? No. Have you had sex? No. So we we all have sinful de desires by nature. So people have the sinful. De have you ever so tried Thank you. People. Have you ever so have so, you so ever we are all born with these evil desires. Yeah. We have all you ever have. Ate, have you ever ate chili cheese fries? <laughs> so we, we all have to deny our sinful inclinations, right? Have you always denied that? Denied what? Your sin. Uh, no, but I need help from the Holy Spirit to do that. So that's why we need to be born again, so that we have righteous desires, so that we don't so give into those evil desires. You never, that, you never have committed a sin and gone back to it. Kind of no, I didn't say that. I have. But the Holy Spirit has improved me. He's given me righteous desires, so now I can obey God and please Him. I know many of gay men that are spiritual or believe in God, and I know many of churches that believe in gay men. And, 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 and right, so they may have these these um, perverse desires. They should reject those desires, just like a straight male will have the perverse desire to lust after women. He must reject that. He, he must reject that desire. So and in the same manner... Buckhead where the college guys are that are fucking every woman and raping... Well, well I, I, pre ma ma I preach outside of strip clubs. I call men to stop objectifying women. I, I preach against fornication. I've been in Atlanta for two years and I've never seen you except here. Yeah, I've, I moved here recently. So I, I have preached outside of two different strip clubs already in the time that I've been here. So... So I'm addressing different sins, and you should acknowledge what God's Word says and, and not think that perversion is love, because God defines what love is. I, I acknowledge, I do acknowledge God's sins, but I don't acknowledge hate. There's a difference. And you should, you should think about what, I, I'm very spiritual, and I'm very religious, and I believe in God, and I believe in Jesus, but there's also a difference between the Bible is the only right thing. Well, how do you know it's right or wrong? How do you how know, do you it's, know true? it's right or wrong? I look to the Word of God, what God reveals about okay, reality. How do you know that's so, right or wrong? The Word of God is the Spirit, correct? Well, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit, and and yep. the Holy Spirit inspired word, people to write down word certain... The of God is the Bible, correct? Right, right, and that was inspired by the Holy Spirit. How do you know that's correct? Because if it wasn't correct, I wouldn't be able to know anything. If I don't have revelation from the all-knowing being to tell me what's true, I can't be sure of what's true. So how how do you know that the thoughts of your mind are correct? How do you know that your perceptions of reality are correct? Don't know you don't. So you trust in them, right? I'm putting you faith in. You don't know your shit's right. We don't exactly. know our shit's right. So we just stay so, there. No, no, no. Lane. I do because so where I do. love is love, we let it be. Where hate is hate, I don't fucking go on the corner and shout shit to say you're not right. You're not right. Let them fucking love. But they're not anything. loving, they're offending God, and they're in danger they're of hell. Not, so no. if, if someone's in danger but of hell, shouldn't you warn them? Shouldn't you warn them? That's your opinion that they're ruining God. If they're loving and making more happiness in this world, of all the fucking hate 
and the madness in this world. Why are you going to condone love? Out of all things, you're going to condone love. I think you mean condemn, but I'm not, I'm not condemning love. I'm condemning perversion. God says it's perversion. Right? God indicates it's perversion. Because he says in the book of 1 Corinthians that they're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. So how could that be love? How could they be loving each other if they're doing what, what's going to send each other to hell? If they're, There's no winning against these people. Well, what is your standard for truth? Your, your standard is not the Bible. That's your problem. You're trusting in your own opinions. But is the Bible true? That's what you have to ask. Yes, because we need revelation from the all-knowing being to tell us what's true about reality. It is the truth. I love the Bible and I believe in it, but you also have to ask yourself, well, how whitewashed is it? How Americanized is it? How do you know it's true about reality? How could you possibly know without the Bible? How do you know? By looking at what the Bible says. But how is the Bible the truth? Because it's revealed from God to be the truth. Is it though? And God yes, because if... Be God is a spirit, correct? Yes. Is God a spirit? Yes. yes. So how could he write the Bible if he's a spirit? By inspiring people, moving them to write down what he okay. wanted them to write down. God right? is inspiring me to say that you should not hate people that are loving people. I should not hate people, but I should warn them. Me. I should love them by warning them, right? To tell them what's to tell them what God says so that they don't